Mr. Hiru Gunendran. I'm one of the URG consultants here at Spire Hospital Manchester. We are coming up to Men's Health Week in June and it's important to be aware of examination and self-awareness. One of the things I wanted to perhaps focus on is on testicular self-examination. Often people are unsure how to do this, when to do this or why they should do this. And I think I'm trying to get across the importance of doing this correctly and appropriately. The main purpose of testicular self-examination is to try and identify anything abnormal at an early stage. The best way to do this is typically when you're stood up after a warm bath or shower. Try and be as relaxed as possible and try to examine each testis separately. Ideally, try and use both hands to feel one testis, starting from the top, moving smoothly down. Don't worry about the tubing around the side, something called the epididymis. You're looking specifically for any lumps or abnormality on the main body of the testicle. Once you've worked your way down one side of the testis, do the same on the other side. It's typical to get some bits of tubing and some bits that stick out from the top or the bottom of the sides of the testis. But generally, anything hard or abnormal on the main body or surface of the testis is what you should seek a GP advice for. If you're in doubt, do consult your GP because prevention is always the best way. And by getting familiar with examination on a regular basis, is the best way of detecting it.